So hi guys, this is Verdi Channel and today I'm doing reaction to The Godfather. Uh, this is gonna be the first time that I'm seeing this movie and I decided to do this because the first movie that I did on my channel was School of Rock and that was a classic that I had never seen before and I had so much fun watching it and then I was like, oh, I, maybe I should do like another one. So I was like going into like classic movies and The Godfather was on there and I was like, okay, yeah. Like it's been on my list of watching, but I just never did it. I think because it's kind of a long movie, like it's two hours 55, so it's kind of long. And also the only thing that I know of this movie is, if I'm not wrong, it's the mafia, like the Italian mafia. I don't know from which city that I really don't know. But I think I'm going to enjoy that. And also because I am descendant of like Italy, even though I'm like um, the fourth or the fifth generation in Canada. So like, I, I think I have literally like 0% of Italian blood in me because of that. But I think it's still going to be fun to uh, see like the Italian culture uh, in this. But I've been speaking for a little bit too long, and we're just going to get right into this. Uh, you can also watch this on Patreon, uh, the full reaction on Edited. Uh, but as always, you can like and subscribe, and let's go. The Godfather. She found a boyfriend, not an Italian, so they beat her like an animal. Damn, okay. When I went to the hospital, her jaw was shattered, held together by wire. That's, that's one way to start a movie. Bad. Then I said to my wife, for justice, we must go to Don Corleone. Yeah. Um, I think I'm okay with that also. That I cannot do. But let's be frank, yeah. You never wanted my friendship. You were afraid to be in my debt. The cat is so cute. How much shall I pay? Why do I feel like he has to pay with his life? Someday, and that day may never come, I'll call upon you to do a service for me. But uh, until that day, accept this justice as a gift on my daughter's wedding day. It does kind of make me want to dance also. <laughs> Ah, you look terrific. That's that's so cute. It reminds me with my father when I was younger. No, oh, no pictures. Get out of here. Private party. Go on. Hey, it's my sister's wedding. Damn FBI, don't respect nothing. FBI. Okay, so they're big, big. Come here. Oh. Hey. Oh. Your father's been asking for you. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, I know that song. It played in like some advertisement. The senator called, he apologized for not coming personally, but said you'd understand. Also, some of the judges, they've all sent gifts. What is that, Brown's son? I came all the way from California to come to the way. I told you he was going to come. It's been two years, he's probably in trouble again. He's a good guy, son. I'm guessing he's like a celebrity. To share with you. And as his career got better and better, he wanted to get out of it. And my father went to see this band leader. And he offered him $10,000 to let Johnny go. The next day, my father went to see him, only this time with Luca Brazzi. Within an hour, he signed a release. We wonder why. Luca Brazzi held a gun to his head. And my father assured him that either his brains or his signature 
would be on the contract. If I had this part in the picture, you know, it puts me right back up on top again. He won't give it to me, and uh, he says there's no chance. No chance. Godfather, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You can act like a man! What's the matter with you? I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. I want you to leave all to me. I guess it's kind of helpful to have a godfather like that. That jazz music. Give Johnny the part in that new war film you're starting next week. Are you trying to muscle me? Absolutely no, not. To me, you're... Final line for you and your boss, whoever he is. Johnny Fontaine will never get that movie. Now you have my number, I'll wait for your call. You better accept, because I don't think it's going to go well for him at all. There are $600,000 on four hooks. I'll bet Russian Tsar never paid that kind of... Just tell him he should ask me anything else. But this is one favor I can't give him. And I'm going to run him out of the business. And let me tell you why. And then Johnny Fontaine comes along with his olive oil voice and guinea charm. She threw it all away just to make me look ridiculous. Now you get the hell out of here. I don't know why, but I'm kind of scared. <laughs> yeah, there's blood. <gasps> My God. It's like 600,000 horse. He's known as a top narcotics man. Santino, what do you think? There's a lot of money in that white box. Well, I say yes. There's more money potential in narcotics than anything else we're looking at. Now, if we don't get into yeah. it, somebody else. If we don't get a piece of that action, we risk everything we have. I mean, not now, but ten years from now. Yep. What is the interest for my family? Thirty percent. In the first year, your rent should be three, four million dollars. Yeah. And then it would go up. But, uh, I must say no to you. And I'll give you my reasons. But they wouldn't be friendly very long if they knew my business was drugs instead of gambling. But uh, your business is uh, a little dangerous. Senor Sonotso, I know it's final. And I wish to congratulate you on your new business. I know you do very well, and good luck to you. I thought he was going to say yes, but he gave good reasons to say no. I noticed this thing. It's from my Johnny starring in that new uh, film. Huh. Go to the uh, Tatalias uh, and uh, make them think that uh, you're not too happy with our family. And... You know who I am? You're the Ganosh. You have been Zad Oro. But I'm here. Hey, you're the Kabaji. You want to come back? You want to come back? What's this order? This is on the board. Not bad. Uh, I feel like he saw, yeah, he saw something. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Well, don't mess with any mafia family. God damn. Oh, there. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. What? What the hell? He gets killed in the beginning? Oh, shit, I'm gonna cry. I... I got freaking chills. What the heck? Is he alright? We don't know yet. There's all kinds of stories. Are they gonna go like after every like person? Where is it? Open up, it's gone magic. Oh, there's more news about your old man. Your boss is dead. So now it's up to you to make the peace between me and Sonny. Sonny will come after you with everything he's got. 
That'll be his first reaction, sure. I'll try. But even Sonny won't be able to call up Luca Brasi. Oh, he's dead. He's still alive. They hit him with five shots and he's still okay. alive. Okay, good, good. If we lose the old man, we lose our political contacts and half our strength. You want me to hang around? Yeah, hang around. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. <coughs> Some food and that. Paul, he sold out the old man, that struts. I don't want to see him again. Make that first thing on your list, understand? Understood. That's a Sicilian message. It means Luca Brasi sleeps with the fishes. Oh, shit, they put him at the bottom of the ocean. There go. I think they're gonna, they're gonna kill Polly. I think that's, that's too obvious. They're like in the middle of nowhere in New York. Oh, yep. Yep, okay, I was right. I was right. How's Polly? Oh, Polly won't see him no more. Be careful, huh? Yes, sir. Send somebody with him anyway. <laughs> I don't think that's normal that there's nobody. That's not normal. are you doing here? You're not supposed to- God damn. This is my father. There's nobody here. What happened to the guards? Listen, I got here late. There's nobody here. Nobody. No, no, no. Tessio's men, no detectives, nobody. Papa's all alone. And they, they, they better hide fast. Yeah, no, he's walking with, like, his hand in his pocket. Who are you? I am Enzo, the baker. Wait for me outside in front of the hospital, all right? I'll be out in a minute. Go ahead. Oh, come here. Put your hand in your pocket like you have a gun. You see, that's why I thought he had a gun, because he had his hand in his pocket. What the hell are you doing here? What happened to the men who were guarding my father? I pulled them guys off of here, huh? Now you get out of here and stay away from this hospital. Get a hold of him. Stand him up. Stand him up straight. Say, but a beep, but a bap, but a boop, but a beep. He wants us to send Michael to hear the proposition. And the promise is that the deal is so good that we can't refuse. Hey. From one message, I want Salazzo. Uh, if not, it's all out war. We go to the Some of the other families won't sit still. They hand me Salazzo. And nobody has ever gunned down a New York police captain, never. It would be disastrous. All the five families would come after you, Sonny. The Corleone family would be outcast. They want to have a meeting with me, right? Get our informers to find out where it's going to be held. But if Clemenza can figure a way to have a weapon planted there for him... Hmm. That's not bad. Then I'll kill them both. That's mixed up in drugs? I'm talking about a, a, a dishonest cop? That's a terrific story. We have newspaper people on the payroll, don't we, Tom? Impossible to trace, so you don't worry about Prince, Mike. All right, you shot them both. Now what do you do? They're going to be staring at your face, Mike. So walk out of the place real fast, but you don't run. Louis' restaurant in the Bronx. Well, is it reliable? That's my man in McCluskey's precinct. They got an old-fashioned toilet. You know, the box and, and, and the, uh, the chain thing. We might be able to take the gun behind it. How long do you think it'll be before I can come back? At least a year, maybe. I didn't think it was gonna have the need, like, to... Like, leave. I'm glad you came, Mike. I hope we can straighten everything out. I'm sorry about the other night, Mike. I gotta frisk you, so turn around, huh? On your knees, facing me. He's clean. New Jersey? That's not that's not the good restaurant if they're going to Jersey. Nice work, Lou. So they're not going to New Jersey. Okay. I'm gonna speak Italian to Mike. Go ahead. Una cosa di business. 
e io hai un grosso rispetto per tuo padre. I understood some words. What I want is that I have a guarantee. No more attempts on my father's life. All I want is a truce. Come on. Nice. Okay, good, good. Now oh, it's it's now or never. Let me tell you a post. Steve is Everything went very well for the plan. He's back. Vito Corrione. A big guy. Give it to Grandpa. Okay. I hope you get wed, Grandpa, and I wish I would see you soon. Love your grandson, Frank. It's cool now they have, like, I think now they have, like, a fence and not just a chain. So I guess that's an upgrade if it's the same place. Also, the other family. Been a lot of bad blood. They hit us, so we hit them back. It was Michael who killed Salazzo. He's safe. We're starting to work to bring him back now. Well, Papa never talked business at the table in front of the kids. Hey, shut up, Carmen. Hey, hey, don't you okay. ever tell her to shut up. Huh? You got that? Michele, Corleone. America! America! Va, back, Vito di America! G.I. Mamma mia, sono cascato a innamorare. Ma vado su per la montagna. Lascia bene. In Sicilia le femmine sono come a lupara. Questa teneva un vestito magari color prugna. E magari un fiocco in testa color prugna. In questo paese non ci sono queste ragazze. It's like his daughter or something. My name is Michael Corleone. Si chiama Michele Corleone. I want to meet your daughter. Vuole conoscere vostra figlia, la famiglia. With all respect. Con tutto il rispetto, naturalmente. So, he's gonna like have a wife, and you forgot like his his girlfriend in New York. I knew just from how he was talking to her at dinner. That's... nope. That's not it a good husband. Where is Sonny, please! It was my fault! Sonny... I'm gonna make that baby an orphan before he's born. <laughs> huh? Come here! Come here! Come here! Oh. No! Oh. Oh. Expecting you, Kay. You should call. I mean, I've tried writing and calling. Yeah, well, now he's married, so. Who's this? This is a friend of Carl's. Could you tell him that I can't make it tonight at noon? It's on the table, it's getting cold. Oh, yeah, Lena. You just told me to make you dinner. Hey, Buffungu, huh? <laughs> That's it. Break it all, you spoiled guinea brat. Break it all. <laughs> Lay it up. Open a goddamn gate. Not gonna end well for the other guy, which I forgot his name already. Oh. Damn. 
shot Sonny on the causeway. He's dead. I want, I want inquiries made. I want no acts of vengeance. I want you to arrange a meeting with the heads of the five families. Senti, Michele, dopo quando mi arretaste, la gente lo sape come ti chiami. Voglio che tu vada in una villa vicino a Siracusa. Tuo frate Santino. L'hanno ammazzato. Fabrizio! Yes. Papera la macchina. Fabrizio! Dove vai? Oh, shh! No! No, 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 no. I knew it. Far. Fabrizio. Fart. Was so unfortunate. So unnecessary. The guy who lost the son. I lost the son. We are all grateful to Don Corleone for calling this meeting. We all know him as a man of his word. A modest man. He'll always listen to reason. I hope that we could come here and reason together. Find a peaceful solution to this problem. Then we are agreed. The traffic and drugs will be permitted, but controlled. Uh, I have to make arrangements to bring him back here safely. Clear of all these false charges. So, we hope that everything goes as promised. But Zini is a man who knows that without being told. To this day that it was... But Zini all along. How long have you been back? I've been back a year. Michael, I thought you weren't going to become a man like your father. That's what you told me. Do you know how naive you sound? Why? Senators and presidents don't have men killed. Who's being naive, Kay? Yeah, you don't know that, so... Because I've cared for you. Please stop it, Michael. Because I want you to marry me. I think the only reason he's going back to her is because the other one, well, got exploded. But, you know, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe it's not that. Well, Michael is now head of the family, and if he gives his permission, then you have my blessing. After we make the move to Nevada, you can break off from the Corleone family and go on your own. When we make our move there, you're going to be my right-hand man. Tom Hagen's no longer conciliating. He's going to be our lawyer in Vegas. Mike, uh, I mean, why am I out? You're not a wartime consigliere, Tom. Like I don't, I don't want Tom um, to switch like families, because I feel like maybe he's not gonna like that. That he's not the consigliere. Con cons consigliere. I, I can't really say the word. Get rid of them, Fredo. You'd like to ask a favor, Mike? What can I do? Now Mo Green will sell us his share of the casino and the hotel, so it could be completely owned by the family. See, we figure that entertainment will be a big factor in drawing gamblers at the casino. And we hope you'll sign a contract to appear five times a year. The casino, the hotel. Corleone family wants to buy you out. I do you a favor and take Freddie in when you're having a bad time, and then you try to push me out. Wait. I can make a deal with him and still keep my hotel. Is that why you slap my brother around in public? I leave for New York tomorrow. Think about a price. You're my older brother, and I love you. But don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again. Martini won't move against you first. He'll set up a meeting with someone that you absolutely trust. And at that meeting, you'll be assassinated. Now listen, whoever comes to you with this Barzini meeting, he's a traitor. I don't know why I, I have a bad feeling. Oh no. He's watching everybody. Brazini wants to arrange a meeting. He says we can straighten any of our problems out. You know how they're gonna come at you? They're arranging a meeting in Brooklyn. Tessio's ground. But like his father said, they're not gonna be safe. And then I'll meet with Don Barzini and Tatalia, all the heads of the five families.
like what would be like really cool is if he kills everybody from like the five families but i don't think that's gonna happen there. Are they like waiting right outside the church? Like what? Oh no, they're at the king. Yeah, the other persons. Wait, I wait. I, like I'm getting confused. Wait. Michael Francis reaching. Do you renounce Satan? I do renounce him. Yeah, it then before they do. So like if I'm not wrong, like he killed everybody before they had time to even have the meeting. Yeah, you gotta you gotta surprise them before they try to surprise you. They still have him to kill. Don't mind it was only business. I always liked him. You have to answer for Santino, Carlo. He's the one. Today I settle all family business, so don't tell me you're innocent, Carlo. Come on, you think I make my sister a widow? We're finished. I'm putting you on a plane to Vegas. So they are really moving like to Nevada. Michael, is it true? Don't ask me about my business, Kate. Is it true? This one time I let you ask me about my affairs. Is it true? No. Oh, he's a good liar, so. That Corleone. He's now the dumb. And that's how it ends. Like, what a movie. Like, I, I really didn't think that there was gonna be like that many like people getting killed. And like, wars over like the families and like the business. Yeah. Like, I, I can see why it's a classic. And I kind of like how uh, Michael was at the beginning saying like, Oh, he's not in that business. He's not in that part of the family. But like gradually through the movie, we can see him like, like getting into the business and everything. And then he finishes being the Don, like the position that his father was, which I think is kind of incredible. But I see that also that we had like a many like time jumps. So I don't know like where we're at in the time. I don't know if we're now we're in the 50s or not, but to me, like, it's still kind of crazy of just how many people get killed, like, shot by a car, a, a car explosion, uh, in the car, like, strangle, gun to the back of the head, um, what's the other one, Sunny, like, just, like, wanting to pass the barrier and then blah, 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 like, so many different ways, and to me, it's, it's crazy if that's like if this was how it really was for the mafia like in those days it might still be but like i really enjoyed that movie like i'm kind of excited i don't know if i don't know if there's i think a two i don't know if there's a third one but i do know that there's a second one and they said that they were moving to nevada so i don't know if it's the old family moving like that might be just be me like not understanding what they were saying but I think like they're just gonna go there with like the casinos and stuff. So if this is like the story of the second one, it's gonna be really like interesting to see how they try to operate like the business uh, in Las Vegas. But I really enjoyed this and I hope you guys did too. As always, you can like and subscribe. Stay safe outside. I hope you have a good day.